hi friends uh, welcome to another session so in this session I'm going to talk about the Cisco sandboxing solution which is called thread grid for those of you who don't know what is thread grid well it is a simple sandboxing mechanism which allows you to submit a sample and get it verified get the verdict and there are multiple sandboxing mechanism available by different vendors and another one uh, similar to thread grid solution is the 40 sandbox So this also do the same thing and there are numerous uh, solutions available in the market but then I feel these two are pretty good so today we are going to talk about the thread grid and how it works out so basically Cisco provides you multiple options one is you go to the public cloud and then submit your sample by sample i mean um, a piece of software or a document or a file that you're suspicious about and you want it to be verified by some ai based uh, signatures or by you know running it on some simulator so cisco provides that solution through thread grid so another solution is having a appliance so Cisco you know sells the appliance which sits in your network and then you can submit the sample to the thread grid so imagine you have a email security appliance or a web security appliance I'm talking about the Cisco or FMC so what you can do is you can automatically submit the sample to thread grid okay and then get the verdict whether it is malicious or there is any kind of issues so you can get a report out of it so in coming videos i'll show you how you can integrate the thread grid appliance with this is called AMP Virtual Private Cloud so that uh, we can have a clear understanding on how we can automate this particular process. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can submit the sample directly to the public cloud, okay, which is accessible via a portal. let me take you to the portal so this is the portal when you log into the thread grid account panacea.threadgrid.com so this is the dashboard and in the dashboard you will see a lot of uh, information about the sample submitted so i have not submitted any sample yet that is the reason why you don't see any under my sample information but if i click on my organization well you can see a lot of samples submitted by my colleague or you can select all as well okay and it gives you a lot of information so how do you submit a sample here so on top you will see option submit sample click on that and then you will see a upload file or you can submit a URL as well so in my case I'm suspicious about a file that is with me so what I'm going to do is I'm going to this is a exe file by the way you can select multiple 
um, samples based on the support provided by ThreatGrid. And all the vendors have their their um, you know sandboxing mechanism that covers certain files, type of files like exe, xls, pdf, and there are a list of uh, files type that the sandboxing mechanism supports. And there are a lot of files which are not supported, so you will not be able to submit those. So make sure you are aware of those criteria. So in my case, this is a simple exe file. And I, I don't want to tag it. I'm going to go over the basics. So here, what you see is where you want to simulate the, the process. So if you keep it uh, best option, it is going to, you know, select on the basis of uh, algorithm that they have. And um, maybe you can, uh, you know, pick one of them just to make sure that you are, you know, simulating on a similar environment. So in my case, um, let me try with window 10, which is my organization default. Okay, and under playbook, you will have uh, multiple options. This is basically the input from the user. Well, there are a lot of uh, applications which requires a uh, manual input by user so that it can generate some data, random data. If you want to do that, you can have it. Like you can see here, random cursor movement with image recognition. Or there are other options as well, so you can click on it. So in my case, I don't require any user input here under the playbook. And here is the runtime. So you can click on 20 minutes, 10 minutes, how long you want this particular sample to be analyzed on your Windows 10 machine. So I'm going to keep it very, I'm going to keep it two minutes so that we don't have to wait for a long time, but then you can increase or decrease the time. Let's submit the sample. As you can see, it is still under analysis. So let's wait for some time.
since in my case it was a setup exe so i went inside the inside the operating system under the account and then clicked on install Now you can see that the sample uh, analysis is completed and let me click on it. Okay, so the verdict is out and this is the report. So you can go through it to understand what kind of activity this particular application is doing in your environment. Okay. and if it was malicious then it would have been flagged here okay anything which is beyond 95 threat score is something that is concerning and that requires you to you know check the exe file or whatever files you have submitted and another thing is um this is uh, just an example where you submitted a single sample but then if you want to go and search for the sample you know maybe in future to get the information well what you can do is you can you know get the SHA value of that sample and then you can come to basic search and then you can paste the So now you can see you are able to search with the help of the SHA value. So make sure you have the SHA information so that you can, you know, come back to the portal and check the information when you have, you know, thousands and lakhs of samples submitted by you every day. And the sample that you will submit will come under samples. You have a lot of options there. I mean, this is the sample that was submitted by me. And you can delete the sample as well, or you can resubmit the sample. All right, then um, that's all in this video. See you in the next video. Stay tuned. And please do subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you enjoyed the video.